After listening to this story, let's be honest, you are thinking what I am. Can a live version of the woolly mammoth be far off? The plant in this picture dates from the Pleistocene age, 30,000 years ago, before agriculture, before writing, before the end of the last ice age. And while it's not accurate to say the plant itself is that old, scientists in Russia say they regenerated it from frozen cells they found beneath 125 feet of permafrost in what is now northeastern Siberia. It was cultivated in the lab, with help from some clonal micropropagation, say the scientists, from seeds and leaves, probably collected by some long-ago species of squirrel. The researchers, publishing their find today in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, say the squirrel's burrow was probably frozen over quickly and stayed that way until they discovered it. The squirrels dug the frozen ground to build their burrows, which are about the size of a soccer ball, putting in hay first and then animal fur for a perfect storage chamber, said Stanislav Gubin, one of the authors of the study, who spent years rummaging through the area for squirrel burrows. It's a natural cryobank.